Hello, it's time to see what we can do with the new uh, 2.0 version and above of the Node Red Contrib IIoT OPC UA package. And uh, first, we see the read node. For the read node, we have a variable named uh, test read write. And the uh, type here is optional because we just want to read, and so there is no type to give for reading. Okay, and the read node uh, says uh, what is the operation, what do we want from uh, our node ID and uh, for, here, for now we want just the value here uh, okay and um, the connector brings some security settings so we are uh, working now with sign and encrypt with our own key pair with the public and private key um, for Bianco Royale okay and um, dum -dum -dum. the response just shows um, up uh, which is the status code from the result of the OPCOA operation and you could use uh, the response to see if there is something going wrong now, for now we have all working here also in the write operation write operations are different from the read because you had to give the data type and you could select here data type which is uh, possible for now and um, you could give a value here because when you just have one entry in the nodes to write then or address space items then you could set up the value from, from the payload here. But it's also possible to set up it uh, with the JSON here, so that you build an array, and uh, each value which is coming here in the address space items, you can give a value here in the array at the same place as it is in the array here. Okay, and um, yeah, we have some random here to see the value changing. So you see here, you know, it's the array. It's uh, set to JSON object, so it has to be it has to be an array. Also, the write operation is uh, working with the connector client. Um, so we set up here also sign and encrypt. So it's all signed and encrypted in communication, and uh, yeah, it's working well. Also, date time we could set a timestamp to a variable here. We have some test date time, and we see how it grows when we go to the server here we should have our test date time and uh, some seconds i mean five every five seconds or so maybe um, yeah every five seconds it should uh, change uh, the timestamp here we see it growing okay that's the read and the write also the uh, address space objects named aso is to build event handled um, address space objects so maybe you get a value in and you say okay i don't know this value but i want to record this value then you could set up a an uh, address space object from uh, the type you you analyze from from the event and uh, so you could uh, have a growing um, opc ua server which is uh, never lost a value for you okay and uh, so that you see that it's working we could also maybe say here okay there are all these values for now in the OPC UA server. We are connected to this one. And if we deploy this, we could wait a bit and um, it needs some time. See now, okay, connection lost, connection is re, re established. And now uh, we have no folder, nothing because it's a delay inside. After some delay, we get the folder back, but uh, no object is coming now. Uh, you see it's uh, not connected, but uh, if we connect this again, click, then we should get our values back in a few seconds. Okay, uh, for this time we could uh, see here how it works with the Flex server. The difference between the Flex server and the normal server is that the normal server brings some uh, operation um, objects here so that you could could play around with uh, method call and set values in different data types, read different data types uh, and all this stuff. So for that is the Bianco Royale folder inside um, the demo server here. So if you take this one, place it here, that's all, then you will have this uh, um, folder with the variables and objects to play around with. Okay, and um, the difference for the flex server is that you could set up here address space so that you don't have to work with the address space objects. This is uh, working with the programmable um, yeah, 
API of Node OPC UA. So all of which uh, which is working with uh, Node OPC UA should work here. So you could uh, build very or create very uh, complex um, information models in the address space for um, uh, and your programmer have some access to the inside working or living uh, variables and objects of the node itself. Okay, and also here we have the security to um, give our own key pairs for the server. Um, we have some user setups and uh, you could set up multiple server users and um, yeah, the different uh, port by default is uh, this one and also the endpoint name is uh, very different from uh, from the demo server. Okay, this is the server here and uh, we are also working with some global settings so that we, we uh, set the test of zero uh, value here. You could uh, set up the variable and now if you write to the variable every time then it should change uh, also in, in the server, so that you have maybe some variables in your node red, which are changing with the operation of uh, some events and all this stuff, and you don't have to write it um, directly to the server via uh, OPC UA. So you could use the inside working node red interface. Okay, that's for it for now. That's it for now. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, the variables are back drag it here and we see also that uh, variables changing it's all working with the sign and encrypt here uh, for that we see also the certificate here that uh, we have our own certificate it's working with the connection of the opc ua server in node red so have fun with the version 2 give your issues to um, or add github or send an email whatever we are very interested in your use cases, what's missing, what's the difference you're um, searching for or what is uh, not handleable for you. Uh, let us know what's your problem or not and then, yeah, let's have fun. Happy wiring! <laughs>